Hey guys, this is Alexander at All Security Equipment, and today I'm going to show you how to program the KP70 and the KP40, the same, same keypad, just different formats. All right, so um, as you can see, not working, not working. So it's out of the box. So what I always tell people to do when they start programming these keypads is to make sure to reset it, erased any code that could have been stored during quality control. So we're gonna start with the master code, which is always the same. Star one, two, three, four, five, six, pound. And as you can see, we saw a quick green flash and now the light is solid. That means that we are in programming mode. So what we're gonna do is type two and then four times zero, one, two, three, four, and that means that everything has been resetted. Every code, every card has been erased from the memory of the keypad. So now we can start from a fresh keypad. So whenever the light is solid like this, it means we're still in programming mode. To exit programming mode, we're gonna press on star. And now when the red light is blinking, it means that the keypad is on standby mode, ready to get a fob a keypad. So that would be most of the case. So now we're gonna see how to add a pin number to the keypad. On the website, you will also find a PDF that is a list of users and code, which is very practical to keep track of who has which code on the keypad. Every user should have its own code and you should not share the same code for everybody in the company. So let's start with setting a programming mode or entering programming mode. So star one, two, three, four, five, six, pound. Then we're gonna go one for the pin. Then we're gonna choose user 52, for example, pound. Then we type in the code. So only four pins, four digit pins. And now the code has been stored in the system. If you want to add a fob for that same user, very easy. All you have to do is take the fob, the card or whatever, and then just read it. And now the, key, the, the pin and the fob has been registered to that user. So now we're going to exit the programming mode. And now you will see that if we type 2525, lock is open and the green light is there. And if we use the fob, it's done as well. Now, if you just want to add a card for a user, so we're going to use user 10, for example, we're going to go back to programming mode. One, then we're going to select user 10, pound, to get the keypad ready to read the card. And we're gonna use this card and read it. And now the user 10 has this card ready for use. Oh, we need to exit programming mode. And there we go, lock is open. And that's how it works. So now we're gonna learn how to delete a pin number, so a user pin. So what we do is that we're gonna go to programming mode. Now we're in programming mode. And instead of pressing one to add, we're gonna press two to remove. So now we're gonna press 52 and then pound. And that user pin has been deleted. So if you remember, we had the code that was 2525. So now if we use 2525, it doesn't work anymore. And we can set up a new code for that user. One important thing to do when you're getting your keypad is to change the master code. So I'm gonna show you how to change the master code, which is the first thing you should do when you get your keypad. 
So we're going to go to programming mode. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to push on zero. And we're going to do our six digit code. That would be our new master code. So make sure you write it somewhere so you don't forget about it. So what we're going to do is we're going to use 147369 pound and again 7369 and pound. And now the new master code is programmed to the keypad. So if I try the old one, doesn't work. Now if I try the new code, and it works. A common situation that you might have with these keypads is that you do not remember your pin or the user does not remember the pin. There are two ways to go about that. The first one is either to delete the user and then re-add it, or you can simply just change the pin code. The pin code is very easy to change. You do not need to enter programming mode. You just do it from the standby mode that we can see with the blinking light. To do that, we're going to do star user ID pound, then the old code pound, then the new code pound, and then the new code again. And you can see we had that quick green light flashing. And now that means that the old code has been removed. And the new code is now in place for the user 25. Now we're going to talk about troubleshooting. It can be frustrating to set up a keypad, but this keypad is very simple and very easy to troubleshoot. A lot of the time, let's say that you're trying to um, enter a new pin or a fob or whatever, and it's not working. That keypad will always beep twice when it's not accepting the command you're doing, which means that something is wrong. So it can be either the way you're setting up the code or either the fact that the fob is already in use with another user, so that's not going to work, or that whatever you're trying to do is not working. So if you hear two beeps, it means it's not working. When it's only one beep, it means it worked. So now what we're going to do is enter the programming mode. And we're going to try the user 25 to add a pin code. So we're going to press 1, then user 25, and pound, and it's beeping twice. So if you keep on pressing on the button, it's still going to it's still going to work, but the two beeps means that this user already has a pin code and it's not working. So what you can do is either change the pin code in the other video that I made about changing pin codes, or you can delete the user and then re-add the user. Now we're going to check. Again, I'm going to show you another example with the fob. So we enter programming mode. Two beeps, it means that it's not working. So now we are in programming mode. I'm going to press 1. And then I'm going to program this keypad to the, this fob to the keypad. So we can see that this fob is already programmed into the uh, keypad. Now I'm going to try to program that same fob to a user. User 25. And it's beeping twice, telling me that this fob is already programmed to this keypad. So you can either, what you can do is delete this fob and then reassign it to a new user or reassign it just to the keypad. 